Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. This will be the first video in a little set of videos on the get command for the Nexion. The get command, you initiate it from the Arduino or the ESP82 or any other device. You send it to the Nexion. When the Nexion receives it, it will send the data back to the Arduino. For this example, I'm going to use a Mega and we're going to use the Nexion in debug mode. We'll start in the Nexion. Now I already have the Nexion portion built. It's not really as important in this video because it doesn't really do anything. It just responds to what the Arduino sends to it. For this example, we're going to read three different objects. When you send the data from the Arduino, you select the object you want to read from and it sends the value or the text of that object. We have a slider, a number, and a text. The slider and the number will send a value or an actual number. The text box will send text. We don't have the text box doing anything or the number. There's no events. But on the slider, as you move it, we're going to assign the value of the slider to the number box, which you can do directly since they're both vowels. And we're also going to convert the slider value to text and assign it to this box. The slider itself, I've adjusted the minimax value to be 500 to 1500. And I did that just so we would get bigger data from the display when we read it. And that'll be apparent as to why I did that later. And that's it for the Nexion. Like I said, we're going to run this in debug mode, so we're not actually going to have a physical display but it should give us the results that we need. Now I'm going to switch over to the Arduino. We're starting with an empty file. Now each video in this series is going to build upon this file, so I won't be building a new file every single time. We're going to add one um, integer here at the top. We're having this set to zero, and we're going to use this variable to read the values or the number of values that come in from the Nexion. So they'll come in in bytes or characters, depending on how you think about it. I'm going to cut and paste a little bit here to speed things along. We're going to use the serial port. It has a serial monitor so we can see the data on the Arduino. As I said earlier, we're going to use a mega, so we have plenty of serial ports. I did get a question about serial 2 and the mega. There are ways to use to add serial ports to the Uno, but I want to keep this as simple as possible. I didn't want to get into extra technology. In the loop, we're going to start off by serial printing out to the Nexion a command. And we'll be printing that over the over serial 2 because that's going to be the connection to the Nexion. And you literally use the word get and then a space. And the easiest value to read is text. So we're going to get the value of T0, the text box. You do need to continue to send the uh, FFs. You have to ser do the serial right. And you have to send that three times. And that's really all there is to initiating the get. We just send it up to it. Nexion should know what to do and send some data back. And since we're doing this for testing, I don't normally use delays, but I'm going to use one here just to make sure that the Nexion has a little bit of time to greet the data, process it, and send something back. Because if it doesn't, it's going to loop back up and it's going to send it a second time. So there is a chance that if we get some errors, we may have to make this delay a little bit longer. The nice part about the Arduino is it is the serial port has a little buffer on it. So during this delay, if the data comes back from the Nexion, it'll hold it into that buffer and then let us know that we have serial data available. We create a variable called character, because that's what we're going to collect from the Nexion, and we set it equal to nothing. And then we create a string that we're going to put that character in one at a time. And we set it also equal to nothing. And then we put just a short delay to make sure that we've processed everything or that we've collected all the data from the Nexion. We probably don't need that delay if we have the one up here, but 30 milliseconds is pretty quick, so I think we'll be fine. And then while that data is available, we're going to read it into the string. So the first thing we'll do is we'll read the character from the Nexion. We're going to read this data in one, one byte at a time. And when we bring the data in from the Nexion, we have to make sure it's in the character format because that's what we've assigned that. And 
and then we'll use this plus equal to add whatever on this side to the existing and make it grow. So data from display will continually add one character at a time until all the characters are within this one string. For those that have watched my other videos, I am going over this again, which I have done before, but since this is a series, I want to spend a little time going into it. But here's where the counter comes in. We set the counter up up here, made it equal to zero. So every time we get a character now, it's going to increment the counter. So if five characters are sent from the next gen and assigned to this data from display, the counter should equal five. And now we're going to print the data out of the main serial port and use our monitor on our on the Arduino. And we're going to print out a second line and we're going to display the value of the counter. And the, the counter itself is an integer so we need to change it or cast it to a string and print it out. So it'll be counter equals and then it will turn whatever that value is. And then so the next time we go through this, the counter starts over again, we're going to set it to zero. Okay, let's see. I've lost the last three to the editor, so let's try and compile this and see how I do. And I got it that time, so we'll see how it goes throughout the day, but so far so good. I'm going to upload this to the Arduino. So it's all updated. I've got the debug running on the display. The COM port here, it's going to go behind this when I click on it, but we'll bring it back forward so you can see what's going on. If you've never done this before, if you go down here in debug mode and you have the Arduino set up on a separate port like we do on Serial 2, you can use this and then you can connect to it. And then what it's done is we've got a virtual connection between the physical, the actual Arduino, and this debug mode. Let's turn off the auto scroll. And as you can see, we're sending data pretty quickly here. If I turn it on, it's going pretty fast. We might want to throw just a delay for testing in there, but for right now, we'll just leave it like this. I'll turn off the auto scroll. And what it's saying is we're counting up seven characters every time, which would make sense. We're sending the get for this text box right here. And if you look, we're getting 500 back. And then we've got those FFs, three FFs, but it started by this P right here. So that's kind of interesting. And we'll look at why that is. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.